Well, this year for Women's History Month, the month of March, we are focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Those are some big buzzwords right now, but for one woman in Scranton, her life has been dedicated to helping people's voices be heard. We are introducing you to a school counselor who is an incredible role model for her students. Maddie Conway navigates the hallways at John F. Kennedy School in Scranton with confidence, her service dog Viva by her side. Maddie is the school counselor for hundreds of kids ages kindergarten through fourth grade. I love seeing their growth and helping them reach their full potential and mostly, like I said, helping them feel heard. Helping everyone feel heard, that is one of Maddie's lifelong missions. Maddie was born to a loving family in Dunmore with six brothers and sisters. She went to Scranton Prep and got her undergraduate and master's degrees at the University of Scranton. She has always used a wheelchair to get around, and that gives her a special perspective to share with students. Well, I hope me being here just shows them that being different is okay and being different is good. and. Um, you know, my wheelchair isn't something to like be ashamed of or be afraid of. It's something that really helps me and allows me to do my job effectively. Maddie believes in celebrating differences, and that's a lesson that Principal Nora Phillips says can make a big impact on students. So for our students to see the end result and to be able to see that they might, you know, have needs that are different than their classmates, but that doesn't mean that they can't be just as successful. Maddie's mission to raise awareness began even before her career as a school counselor. I would email different re retailers and ask them to include people with disabilities in their advertising um, because I think that's super important. Like, the more people see differences in disability, the more it, like, becomes an everyday part of living. It took years, but eventually Maddie got responses from various retailers like Tommy Hilfiger and Zappos. She also worked with Victoria's Secret to create the company's first adaptive clothing line. It was a big accomplishment, one she wanted to share with her mother, Molly, who was also her biggest cheerleader. But sadly, 10 years ago, Maddie lost her mom to colon cancer. I remember her saying that she just wanted to get to the other side of what she was dealing with so that she can help other people and she meant it like she was really really passionate about um, helping people get through cancer and all kinds of things. Maddie says her mom was a positive force and a great motivator to keep her memory alive Maddie created a blood drive. It's called Molly's Get Up and Give Blood Drive because when she was diagnosed she had said that she just has to get up like I just want to get up and fight this and that was her phrase. So we decided that Molly's Get Up and Give would be a fitting name. Maddie says she hopes her story will help many recognize that people with disabilities are capable of so much. If anyone ever says like, oh, I feel bad for you, I always like want them to know, no, please don't feel bad for me. And instead of feeling bad for me, please work with me and like um, help be an ally in creating change. Creating change by letting every voice be heard. Thank you to Maddie for sharing her story with us. The fifth annual blood drive in honor of Maddie's mom is on Friday, May 3rd, La Buena Vida in Dunmore from noon to five. Hope you can help out.